Today, we're out on the bay across from Seattle at the Manchester Research Station, where program manager Rick Getz is studying sablefish, a relatively unknown fish that he hopes can become the next staple of aquaculture. My passion really is to get this fish to the next stage. We want to get commercialization of this fish. Well, everything we've done has been geared towards that as an endpoint. We compress the whole cycle uh, into two years. One of the things is making all females. Okay. So they grow faster. Another thing is just unlimited amount of food. And we give them the most optimal conditions for growth. And that is the purity of the water and the temperature. And those things are really important in order to maintain this really fast growth. We've worked with these uh, sable fish for a long time, developed a lot of techniques. We think we actually have figured out all the bottlenecks uh, that it right. takes in order to rear this fish. Working with Rick is Kurt Grinnell, councilman for the Jamestown Squalum Tribe. Together, the tribe and the research station have developed a program to help the tribe someday farm the sablefish commercially. We fished and hunted along these uh, waters for thousands of years, and so uh, we've always eaten sablefish. So we're just now learning about it. We're behind the curve. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're going to take uh, sablefish and yeah. grow them out in our own uh, net pens here. The Jamestown Squalum, they're actually doing that with us. What it allows us to do is to sort of study the whole process of growing them out. So it's kind of a transfer of technology to the Jamestown Squalum okay. so that they will be able to utilize that in the future if they uh, decide to grow sablefish on their own. There's not more of them to go get. We found okay. them all and so if we're gonna uh, have any more of it, we're gonna have to farm them. So these are the tanks? Yeah, these are the tanks. The reason why they're here, because normally they wouldn't be, they're in colder water, and colder water will decrease their growth, and we're trying to hold them back, because okay. we have a second group of fish, and they're much smaller than these fish. But we have to get all of these fish together at the same size, so we're holding these guys back with cold water, and we're gonna make those guys go faster with warmer Warm. water. And okay. then hopefully in August, and they'll all be the same size. Okay. You don't want to use fish of different sizes because they grow at different rates. And, and then, then they consume feed. food at yes. different rates. And it's a very different fish from anything really that's out there. The taste is exquisite. You know, it's a kind of an oily type meat. It has a little bit of high oil in the muscle, but that makes it uh, taste more fishy. Okay. And so uh, people prefer that. But it's hard to find that kind of taste. There are a number of restaurants that do uh, sell it. You could also go to Costco sometime and uh, find it as well. Costco's always got everything, though. Yes, uh, really. <laughs> so should we see one? Yeah. Okay. How do we go about doing that? Well, it's a little bit tough. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be holding this one. Okay. Look at the size of that guy. Uh, that's a female. <laughs> the size of that gal. <laughs> this is in some anesthesia, so it'll okay. just knock them out just a little bit. So I better not lick my hands or I might pass out, right? Exactly. <laughs> you probably want to wash your hands first. This is a, a really beautiful fish, uh, and these fish are pampered because they're <laughs> they're really being used to, to get the eggs to produce everything else, so we take really good care of them. Still a little bit active. <laughs> a little bit longer, otherwise you'll be tackling it. <laughs> <laughs> and that is your black cod. We can almost produce that size fish in two years, yet in the wild, it would take 10 to 12 years to produce that. Well, Rick, thank you so much for showing me the black cod. That's an exciting thing that you guys are working on and I can't wait to try one. All right, you're welcome. <laughs> Come again. <laughs>